at least 19 mini hydropower and solar energy producers in Uganda will now lead the pack in eligibility for insurance cover worth $74 million or approximately 280 billion shillings. RLSF will protect independent power producers against the risk of delayed payments by public off-takers. This type of guarantee is a common requirement from the banks that fund the projects. Many projects have failed on the, in the past to access funding because this guarantee was not available. Finance Minister Matia Kasoja endorsed the de-risking agreement signed with the African Trade Insurance Agency on behalf of German lender KFW. We've supported many projects, Kalangala Infrastructure Services uh, was supported by ATI in terms of guarantees. We have also supported Karuma Hydro. Uh, we also supported uh, Pearl of Africa Hotel, I think, in terms of guarantees. Of course, we're supporting many banks for financing SMEs uh, in terms of uh, guarantees. And of course, we right now we believe, we hope, we'll be able to support Ugandan Airlines. We've just got a you know, request to, 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 to bid, and uh, we believe that would be uh, also a plus for, for ATI and Uganda's uh, partnership. Mm -hmm. Some of Uganda's infrastructure projects from roads to energy have time and again run into financing challenges, in some instances either raising user costs or even stalling the projects. The transparency tool that comes with it is a welcome uh, innovation because it also gives confidence and maybe we'll be, we may see the cost of financing coming down as a result of this facility. Reina Ojon. NTV Weekend Edition.